for a mile. What's good, E? What's good, brother? How you doing? I'm chilling, man. All right. All right. Uh, Williamsburg Boxing Gym yeah. just opened, what, yeah. five months ago? Five months ago. All right. Uh, what's your thoughts? We've been doing good, man. We hot right now. We're on fire. We had we had training camp with Edgar Belanga here. Um, Tank came in through already the other day. We got Richardson Hitchens coming up in here, getting his work in. Um, we got Vito Milnicki. He's here right now. He comes every time he fights in Brooklyn. He trains here. We got you know we got guys in here, man. We got our own guys. You know what I'm saying? Khalil Cole fighting November 12th, Cleveland, Ohio. The zone. Huh? That's on the zone, zone card, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, and then we got up and coming kids, man. We got one of the best amateur teams in New York City. So, bro, first off, that mural is crazy. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Man. What made you start your own gym? So I ran a few gyms um, since I've been a coach. I've been a coach now for about 12 years. Um, and my brother, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and um, you know. I didn't like the way things were running, so I had to do my own thing, you know what I'm saying? I had to step outside and say, you know what, it is what it is, man. I want to do things my way. And I know I'm young in the game. I'm 42 years old as a coach, but I've been around for a long time. I've been in this business for 30 years since I was boxing and I was a little kid. And, um, you know, thank you, brother. And, you know, I just said, you know, it was time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a go-getter. I don't, I don't like to sit around and watch other people work. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I want to be that guy. And I was blessed by God, man. He gave me a knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Um, I had a great coach coming up, Dave Clark, out of Miami, Florida. Um, he's a Hall of Famer. He had four world champions. I was in the gym with all of them. I learned from them. I watched them since I was a little 10 year old kid, man. So, you know, I'm blessed, man. And, and for me, it was like my dream. You know, let's open a gym, let's do it. I got with my man, Jimbo. And, um, me and him together, we, we created all this. Now, when you started training fighters, was, it, did you have to be the spit bucket guy? No. Um, <laughs> well, I was for my coach, but like okay. I never really considered, I never even considered being a trainer. You know, I was just his assistant, like in the gym, like helping him out. You know, mm. and, and and with time, I started like going, oh shit, like this is kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm and I'm helping little kids come up. Like I would I would teach kids. When they would do things wrong in the gym, and I kind of had a knack for it, hmm. and so you know, here I am today. I know I'm I, I'm a head coach, and you know I done coached at Barclays Center, I done coached at Madison Square Garden, and who would have known, man? It was that's none of that none of that was in my head when I decided. To do what, what was it like reaching that level? Like oh shit, like I'm it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was it was like. Um, you, you know, you couldn't even pinch me. It was not, none of it was real to me. You know what I mean? And I'm just grateful, man. Like I said, I looked up and seen myself on a big screen at, at Madison Square Garden. You know what I'm saying? Like how many people in the world can say they did that? You know what I'm saying? And so it's something, you know. And I have my kids there to watch. You know, my all my kids is ringside. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing. Man. You know what I'm saying? By the way, my son Malito Roman, look out for him. He's coming up next. He's 16 years old, 125 pounder. Okay. So, all right, so you heard it here first. You already know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, people often talk about the pressure with fighters, yeah. right? But training at Madison Square Garden, Barclay, 20,000 people. Yeah. Is it pressure on you, like giving your fighter the right instructions? No, actually, um, I guess I was built for it because I don't get nervous. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you, you feel a little something, you know, but for me, like that nervous feeling is always exciting. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always feel like, now nah, it's time. My adrenaline is pumping. I feel like this is it. This is our moment. You know what I'm saying? As a team, you know, we all put the work in. You know, I believe in what I do. And so why be scared or nervous when you're on the big stage? You know what I'm saying?